Greetings. Greetings a walk people. Greetings. To God be the glory. Give thanks and praise to the mystic love of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our part in our ways that are loveful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise. Today is just one of those easy bounds with us a flow, with us a chant. To my American people, specifically, our native people, our original people, or Aboriginal people, first people here before the colonizers came here. This is the people I choose to address at this moment. They are the free people, people that have been enslaved emotionally, psychologically, physically. You know what I mean? On every level. One of the biggest problems is that the native people of this American hemisphere is totally unaware. For us on this rock, that is called Jamaica. We as native we call this Zamaica. We are in one of those unique locations where to me it's like the center. Because most of the we are joining islands look to us for influence and not just the adjoining islands including the mainland. We have people from across the pond, the other hemisphere, we call the African hemisphere. We are looking to this rock for inspiration, for music, to whatever philosophical endeavors we choose to pursue, but people always look at us around here. And for some strange reason, according to their map, We seem to be so very small, but yet, you know, we have such an impact across the earth at large. This is America. America is an archipelago of a body of different, different islands. This is America. I find that the people in the St. Thomas Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands are totally, totally enslaved via bureaucracy. Yeah, man, it's like paper genocide. They write on paper, say, hey, you are a slave. You have no rights. You can do nothing at all. And I have proof of that in terms of the situation of the people. Now, if you're a slave and you don't know that you're a slave, then hey, it doesn't apply to you. No, I mean, continue living as you are. It's no problem. But for my people, Awa people, well, this is Awa chief dominion. Yeah, man. My Awa people, you need to know yourself. The moment you have your house seal and you're attached to this society, you are free. There's no lieutenant governor on those Virgin Islands that have no authority over you. Absolutely none. Which man 
can come and say they have authority over you as man. Once you put your information, your volition, your intention and writing on paper, it serves as a contract. Get me? And no one can compel you or coerce you to buy their services or subject you to their will. It's a choice. You can choose to live that way or you can choose to say, rebel. You know what I mean? You just say, no, I do not consent to absolutely no foreign entity governing over us. You do not consent to that. And when you use our own native people via employment within that foreign system, it's still the same. Once you're an employee, yeah, of those foreign constructs, you're foreign to us. You know what I mean? Your laws and your rules apply to just you and your employees. It doesn't apply to I or my people who is outside your society. Who is outside whatever you call jurisdiction. We have a jurisdiction of our own. Every hour with a seal of a 12 mile radius jurisdiction that belongs to him as man, woman. That's law. Your legality cannot supersede law. Yeah, you might have a standing army, but your might can never make you right. There's no lieutenant governor on that island, or no Dutch control of the people. The people is always the one with the power because the people, specifically the native people, is attached to the land. The foreigners are not attached to this land. And they have been governing by foreigners for a very long time. For a very long time. They come with a system and as and a language, which is this English language. And the language have a legal definition. That same language have an etymological definition. And that very same language have an ordinary definition. One language. And this is where the confusion come about. It's called word wizardry, where they're saying one thing and you're understanding it one way, totally not comprehending what is being said. But you definitely shake your head and agree so you understand because, yeah, look at it ordinarily. When you're dealing with a corporate construct, you're dealing with an artificial entity. You get me? That employ people that look like you. Don't be afraid for ask from where do you derive your authority. It, you, must, it, you must be God when you try to rule over a man. You must be God. You can't be a man like me. As it is said, it is written in scriptures, God created heaven and earth. God created man in his own image. And God gave man dominion over all things. So who are you? How can a corporation be so audacious as to think it have any kind of jurisdiction over I as man or any man? It will always be them in court. Any court. Once you as man is in that court, that corporate construct is null and void. Because that corporate construct can only exist via man. Only man can create that corporate construct. You know what I mean? So when you as man is there, you supersede anything that they are doing. All you have to do is know that you are no lawbreaker. You have committed no crime. In their system, everything is a crime. If you speak too loud, it is a crime. If you walk your dog too late, it is a crime. 
If you ask questions, it is a crime. You understand, within their system, crime, commerce, commercial, it's all commerce, it's business, it's money thing, it's business. This is why, you see on the island here, I've seen where a vlogger shared the information that is in the court system where a prominent attorney was found with a man dead in his house. Man stabbed to death a holy pattern. Listen, when it's all said and done, the attorney said, hey, I was fast asleep. This attorney's house, I hear it of us. Electric security gate. You know what I mean? And these people secure their premises with some huge dogs and all these things. Now I think this incident happened in 2016 and now it's 2021 and they haven't really resolved that issue or that matter. Now this is where you say the heights of corruption. This is where we have to eradicate from our midst. Because if that was a it has a, a ordinary little man, then open and shut gates. Simple. Now they're saying this man that got killed was a gardener. That's what the attorney said. Oh, he's my gardener. What the gardener doing laying up in your place? Only to hear that this man was no gardener. This man was a man that lived in America and probably is a little man with hustle, whatever he might hustle and have a lot of money. And usually we always trust the attorneys. We always trust some people who so said them in a big job and them supposed to be, you know, proper, morally intact. And it has been said or alleged, allegedly, that, you know, this attorney of a plethora of the man, you know, said assets, houses, this, that, whatever. However, in the newspaper, this man is just a garden. So the question is this what really happened? Where it is the truth? You know what I mean? And this is just one aspect of what's going on here. I see another vlogger. Share an incident talking about our DDP here and all kind of thing. He's in prison for 19 years and he's out. And then people have to wonder, it, 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 are these stories true? But it has to be true. Or this money have all of the evidence. And then it just go away. You know what I mean? Silent. Nobody talk about it. You know what I mean? This is our problem. We have people saying that governing us, governing the natives. Yeah, that's the common folk. Because them supposed to, you know, be at a level where they can share information with the common folk to bring the common folk up to a level that they won't be so common anymore. But that's not what's happening. The very same system with the very same people, they are corrupt to their core. And because they have access to the media, they control the media houses. So that's put on a show for everybody else. You know what I mean? When the truth is, you know, is well hidden. We have enough of these kind of situations. I've always said if we have public officials who were elected and the name calling or anything inappropriate, we have to remove them. We have to keep replacing them. And we have to hold them accountable. You know what I mean? Because they are the ones who take a oath. You know what I mean? To support the Constitution and not just the corporate charter. You understand? And that oath is to the creator of nature. And when these people are violate these oaths because of them own personal. They should be held accountable. But in time, as a generation will rise, we are come to correct a lot of these things. 
now we always have a generation where all we want was just pad and be a pad. And prove who better than who. No. We're going to get some intellectual ones arise up. But them now say them bad and approve so them. No. They're going to use them intelligence and rebel. They'll use their intelligence and rebel against the oppressive nature of the system because the system can correct itself. This is nature. Good and bad is here. Right and wrong is here. Left and right is here. This is nature. So when the people um, of these so-called Caribbean islands, you know what I mean? have been so psychologically removed from what truly is. This is why they can't find a way. When a guy create a document and try to place the document on their public record, they are being rejected only because they're not enforce the same laws. Called. There's laws for these corporate entities. Once you work for the government, you have to have insurance. And that is in the form of a bond. And when you overstep your authority, when you misuse your authority, when you abuse your authority, then you should be held accountable. Usually, they will protect themselves. But because there is good and bad in everything, all you have to do is make it public. You know what I mean? Open up a platform and talk about who you are and what you are. Where you are and what you're doing. You have what is known as the original people that's always been here from time immemorial. And you have a next set of people that come here after you call them foreigners. And when the foreigners come and they mix with the native original people, they bring forth other children. They call those children indigenous. Most of the indigenous are the, the earliest set is from the Spanish. And after the Spanish came and the British came, then it's a wide, wide, China, all kind of people came with them. So they are all one people. When I see the Chinese man and I see the Korean man, and I see all of those kind of ones. I know, say, so watch me now. They are not originated on this side here. Irrespective of what they are claiming. They don't originate on this side of the hemisphere. This is the American hemisphere. You know what I mean? And when you guys came here with you know, Columbus in 1492, we were here. Columbus never carry a bunch of Africans with him. You understand? We were here. We have always been here. And as such, it makes us the true peers to this estate, the true sovereign in this land. And that's a fact. So when foreigners came here and, and, and brought their educational system and started to teach us, the native, that we are not who we are, we are not from here, and we come from somewhere else, that's a part of the usurpation. That's called genocide. It is genocide. You understand? But when all nations conspire in what they call a confederacy to oppress the most wise people, then who can we cry out to? Who can we look to but ourselves? When we cry out, our voices go unheard. So we have to cry to ourselves and we have to come together. We have to come together and say decolonization. We have no, listen, we have no interest in what they are doing out there. This political atmosphere where 
it's right there in front of your face where it's just corruption and it's just according to them illegality unlawful actions on the part of these officials and they are using the media which is a weapon to have the people um, in derision All of what I'm saying is obvious, it's right there, nothing new. Nothing new. However, we as free people are here to make this declaration that we are free. We have our own society, a what Indian nation in America. And we are spread out all over we have our work in what they call britain we have our work on the mainland we have only our work exists on the islands outside of these foreign usurpers especially what they call those those so-called hindus that calling themselves indian that came here as indentured servants, which is slaves. And as the colonizers rearranged, they put certain people in place of power to maintain the colonization in many different forms. They call it all different kinds of ways. The next thing I say, what the, what the foreigners introduced to our, our land is this political system where it's just one family start that mess. One cousin on one side and one cousin on the next side. One cousin says labor, one cousin says PMP, and they start the divide. And because the native not really catch on to English, totally unaware of all of these craziness. This is our society de degenerated. This is our society de degenerated. If I'm a regular local man and my family, you know, struggle with me and thing, send me to the schooling system, send me to UWE, struggling, I have a lot of debt and thing for payback from school and whoop me, me enter politics. After five years, I have one of the biggest houses on the island and me now have to feel for nothing anymore. Well, to be on my wildest dreams as a politician. And I would ask the question, why is that? How come? We well, say, is it because you went to the school in and what, what happened? And then he asks, what have you done for the people? How can you sleep when you live in a house with seven or eight bedroom when you only can sleep in one bed? You probably have three or four big, pretty expensive cars when you only can drive one at a time. Yet, as a politician, look at the constituency. Look at the area you're supposed to be responsible for. You know what I mean? You created a monster when you come with this political system because it brings the vibe to the island, it brings the vibe to the earth. Because in every country they have this same political system structure. Ask, where did it come from? Why is it so one-sided? And who tell you, whatever system you are, that you're God? This is a problem. People are afraid to speak. People are lost and distracted, drifting, 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 lost at sea. God, I'm going to watch too much TV. Get me? And when we're so plugged into the internet, we get so distracted, it's so much different things that the focus become a problem. And this is a problem with our people. This is why they always want one man to sacrifice everything for them. One man to sit study, one man to learn the thing, one man to just go and try the thing, one man to one and, and let us stand on the sideline very few 
But we still have people like us where they might not be bold and brave enough to come up front. But listen, they must say, watch your way need. See a case of water. Yeah. Yeah, we need for your journey. Here is a here, here here is some rope. You get me? Here is a ladder. You have people like that. I make sure them 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 not bold enough. Them not have the information, but for them participation is essential. But without them, I give you. It's like when Christ I move through the earth, and people all have missed them because something with the earth. When we read and see what them say in our scriptures, Christ I move through and I never hear Christ say I have no big house now. What truly? You always hear my beggar man a place to sleep. Yeah, I'm coming to rest at your house tonight. Yeah, I'm coming to sup at your house. In my beg food, I'm coming to eat at your house tonight. And then where did the man I move to? Never claim all of these things for himself. He just has to watch you, we're free you now. And we feel live in such a way where even when me not stay a certain way, I suppose you can look for you and, and say, you know, Give her hand, and before me, if I say give her hand, he already has stretched her hand. This is how our people fear deal with it. But we lost all of those things. Why? Because of foreign intervention, foreign mix up in our things. And now we have so much information to can prove all of these things. But the people are not ready for this. I'm telling you, the people are not ready for freedom. Truly. And that's what I discover. <laughs> God, freedom comes with responsibility. You understand? And even when they must say freedom, 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 what is it really? I am in court on the island, the American island of America, slash Jamaica. I am in court. I am in court for the right to travel, which is the right to be free. And I am absolutely confident that I am no lawbreaker. I'm not even doing anything illegal. I'm a free man. I've declared myself free. I've placed documents out there to make these corporate entities and agencies know that yes this is a free man right here with his free society and we are native we are aboriginal we are original we are first people we are first nation we are who you call arawak we correct it we say awuwak yes we are the very same people that you're right out of his story, that's your story. You write us out of your story. Saying all of us are dead off and we now, same hour, are now Africans. I rebut that claim. I rebut that claim and reverse it right back at you. For you are that African. Irrespective of your skin color, you are that African. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? Before the foreigners came here and set up their construct, round here was called America, and they created an organization called the United States of America. So you have America, which is all of us here, all the islands. And then you have the United States of America, which is a particular area on the mainland. And then you have the U.S. United States which is an agency within the United States of America. So these are the little subtleties where people probably not really know about or can digest. And I don't blame the people. At no time, all when I see the criminality so rampant, I say, man, you know, I just last for last away. I will get to a point now where, you know, even when you are a good man, as one would say, a non-violent man, as one would say, it's, 
it's really hard for you sit with your hands behind your back or you know your hands in your pocket and watch the next man like you I come to destroy you or your neighbor or your family member it's really hard so this is why you say the crime and this violence will perpetuate it's nothing new we just know say it's gonna get worse why because a system set this thing in place to destabilize the place to destabilize this area Everywhere you look, you see all kind of criminality and violence and all kind of where it comes from. We have a lot of weapons on the island here. When my dad must say, hey, I had a gun, 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 gun. Because somebody has to use a gun. We can't have one whole warehouse of guns and everybody knows it's there. You get me? But if we have people when I read and write on a level, I want to balance themselves. You understand? That mess will be destructive. And at the same time, if you have people who balance themselves, then the warehouse of gun is there for whatever purpose it is there for. It's not going to be used until that purpose. You know what I mean? When we are talking about war, we know war with each other. We war with people that is outside of us. But the people that is outside of us where our ancestors used to war with, the infiltrators, you understand? And then them turn us against ourselves and then promote the violence between ourselves. Most men are uh, quick for the perpetrate violence when the next man will look like him. As a man will look like him, disrespect. Any which form of way, quick for, you know? Decapitate that man. But when our next man now violate, he might think twice. Why? Because of the conditioning. Because it's the conditioning. But step by step, you know. Step by step, we will find a way to correct all of this thing. But I know it starts with the individual man. And woman, it start with us. It start with a fictitious entity calling itself government. Because the government can only be in power because you give it that power. Yeah, man. And all people, nothing wrong with government, because all the way will delegate a little of our authority in order for collective security. But when you're not being secure, then it's okay to withdraw that authority. Withdraw your consent. You know what I mean? Any contract that was there is null and void. It's cancelled. And as such, your authority stay with only you and your cronies. It not apply to people outside of your club. You know what I mean? It not apply to people outside of a legal society. You know what I mean? And I don't know why it seems like I'm the only man with this kind of voice, with this kind of narrative, but I don't get it. When my Rasta brethren them used to burn a fire and bring some, you know, say consciousness to this thing, them still are care where Africa. I'm not telling you American, because when you're American, you own this land. When we as our work is here, we're not supposed to have paying a foreign man. No tribute. We not pay tax. No foreign man can come in our land and build toll on our road and charge us to move through toll. Them think they apply to people when they know themselves. It shouldn't apply to us. This is why we have to play some things out there where well, I can charge you guys, you foreign guys. This is why the fee schedule is in place. Because the fee schedule is in place. And the fee schedule secure our society, our work, Indian nation, every member. Just my fee schedule does, does that. Just my fee schedule. 
each individual member not necessarily have to show a fee schedule out there. All I'm have to do is direct any agent to that public record number where that fee schedule is. That's it. And when any corporate entity choose to do business with us, then our fee schedule is initiated and we do business accordingly. Yeah, man. If all are equal under the law, then we're not breaking any laws here. You understand? Yeah, man. And again, we have people that came before, right? Create an agreement, a contract or the Constitution for the United States of America, not of, for, you know what I mean? And this apply to you corporate entities. And the First Amendment section 10 stated, no state shall enter into any treaty, alliance or confederation, hear that? No state shall grant letters of marquee and reprisal. No state shall coin money. No state shall emit bills of credit. No state shall make anything but gold and silver coin tender in payment of debt. So when them are gave this Federal Reserve note, it's only true you choose to participate with that because it is a negotiable instrument. That federal that money what we have, it's called a negotiable instrument. You know what I mean? Yeah man. And that specific one is a promissory note. You have bills of exchange. You have bond. These are negotiable instruments. No state shall pass any bill of attainder or ex post facto laws or laws impairing the obligation of contracts hear that? or grant any title of nobility. When them say title of nobility, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? These attorneys where have the special privilege. It would be like all a prosecutor where we gave opportunity to look at laws and documents to say, hey, I have that right to travel freely. We don't need to pray now, you know? No kind of problem where that is concerned. Here is adjudicated facts of law where all kind of superior court justice has state these things. Yet this prosecutor, probably because I'm in mean, my own personal, you know, whatever it is, and probably look at my document and see where I say I'm a work Indian. So you must forget offended because them are then, you know, the usurpers. These are the set of people who come here calling themselves something that they are not. And when these people came here, they came here in the 1800s. Before the 1800s, there, there was no Hindu community around here like that. I came across a, a, a video at one point where some are these Pakistani India, Hindus calling themselves Indians saying they are on the island and they introduce ganja to the island, marijuana to the island and they did hey. All of them story that we don't accept it. We have enough for our little nobody coming to our heaven and spoil it. As I keep saying, especially specifically this rock here, it's like it was a time when everybody won't come to the islands. Why is that? Because everywhere else have all kind of problems. When they're not cool, you get me? It's too hot. But when them come here, they say it's heaven. Yeah, man, and them spoil it. And it not just spoil. And I like now. I remember, you know, when they say the crime and violence here, you know. Go back to a few years ago when they talk about poor Royal. When them said that was the murder capital of the world, Port Royal, when all of these foreign piracy was there. You get me? 
So people, we all look at the effect, what's happening now, when them get so excited and them, you know what I mean? For me, I'm like, this is going to get worse. Yeah, man. Yeah, few. you. It's going to be nothing at all. But for most, it's going to be, you know, for men. Yeah, man. What I'm going to call Jacob Trouble. But the truth is that every man has an inherent right to choose his own destiny. It's just when outside people interfere with that right, it becomes a problem, you know? Then you can't choose your own part no more. You have to follow a script. You have to just know. So you're a slave. When you're born a slave, when you're going to die a slave. And I disagree. I say we have always been free. We just don't know it. And now them come with people with listen. That's why I'm like, write document and do this and do that and do that. Because I know some boy, at least I cover some ground, but at the, at the foundation of all of that. I shouldn't need no paper for say this is who I am. I shouldn't need to go through that. A policeman stop you with your ID. When you stop all a man like me, I don't carry a government, Jamaica government ID. I have a world passport. You know what I mean? And that is what I use as my travel document. And when time to come, I'm moving across my land. I don't need no visa. You get me? I work Indian nation naturally have visa waiver. You wave them thing there from us, right? Now apply it to the natives. So we've been traversing a move across this land from time immemorial until this foreign man come with them foreign weapons and start bullying us. And they are still bullying us. It's just that we radical ancestors that were here trying to pass away. You get me? And through miscegenation, we gave birth to a lot of sissies. We sell we out. Look like we talk like we grew up with, we play with we. And by the time they reach in a position for help we, them sell we out. Then the members said them come from probably the similar community. I mean, them they remember none of those things. They sold out. Me used to say all attorneys, all attorneys are very good. But now, me have to say no, there's good and bad in everything. Uh, if there's bad attorney, you must have to have some good attorney out there. It's just that one fine work for them can. You know what I mean? So, me have to take back them talk that we must just burn all attorney. No, you have good and bad. And that are straight across the board and everything. That's why I'm mean, not my police officers. I tell you that. All when a police kill my father, me not burn police and say, hey, I'm mean, No, man, that a silliness. You know, there is good and bad there. You get me? And I've met a lot of police where me can't say about people. Eh? I live in a community with police where I still can't say about people. Eh? I see police family where well, woman and man, you know what I mean? And it's not bad people then. You get me? I mean, no, there is police out there where when they say them are bad people, probably I show them a bad up the criminal them out there. And then you have some police where definitely dirty. You get me? Them definitely does not care them I saying. And that's a go for mine. And if you come in on my way, a judgment. So there's good and bad everywhere. So we have to make the good ones then do what is good. And the bad ones then demonstrate so them bad. And as them demonstrate so them bad, man, we just line them up. And give them some more teachings. I will push them out. Let them have to leave the force. And then them not have access to license gun neither. Understand? Them they even have access to driver's license. Send them in a some bush. The right donkey. So you get your opportunity to serve the people lawfully and honestly. 
Ja ja make a choice not to. So go on in a bush. Not even bicycle want to see on. And because so much I don't want to go around the car and I still but I said donkey boy and I mo hey one time me a little boy I said donkey. They say all kind of different, different bird and pigeon, barbed duck, you say all kind of these things. brethren from the foreign of them start coming our land when I see these things no more. From foreigners start coming our land, we, we can't see Irish mash no more. From foreigners start coming our land, we don't have no reef no more. We fish of folks, them have problem. From foreigners coming our land, them just pick out the best areas and I claim it for themselves. You understand? And I try to build some little port more and some little compact city for the people and where, you know, the people and live in a such a close proximity where read all kind of contention at times. And when a one man can rise to a level and take for himself, then I just him alone go. If all a man like I say, yeah, I'm a cut port more, I just me alone go. I still have got no civil I would plus there are people there in other places where does I live like, you know? We could be living much better. But again, ask yourself where them port more people they come from. They might come from some zinc place community, some of them. Some of them have come out of some country rural here where them said nothing now go on. But I still say we as a people, we are choose. You can choose to accept this. You can choose to say, no man, I'm not gonna find the next way. But some are we lazy. Some are we probably as a boy when I have the ability. And all of these things are understandable. This is what I am here to say. I am a free man. You understand? And I exist freely and harmoniously within my society, with all other society. If you are alien from one of them alien places, me and you won't have a problem until you are bring the problem to me. You know what I mean? And for the populace, because I don't lack knowledge, I do look for public policy and things say a law. Public policy is not law. Public policy cannot be law. You have to consent to public policy. And because they don't teach we properly. You know what I mean? Let me use deception and gain we assent. And say, them are represent us. I don't want a man represent me. Are you insane? I'm a can't speak for my and I'm here. You represent a slave. You represent a ward of your state. Don't think ward of your state mean a child. No. Don't think minor mean a child. No. But don't even want to tell us to look it up legally anymore. Because right now them control all of these data. I may I tell you a lot of words where we're back in the days when you look it up. It will mean this. Now, when you go into the same old lexion, you see them all rearrange these words. It's like you are going crazy only because you keep your original copies of what you would have. Documents were them placed out there, like the government of Jamaica being a corporation. You won't be able to find that anywhere in the public anymore. Why? But they remove it. So the generation coming up from 10, 20 years from now will never ever know these things exist. They'll just be some perfected slave. That's all. Perfected slaves. Every man have a right to contract. We've always been contracting. It's just that we're unaware of it. The moment they ask you for a signature, it's a contract. The moment they ask you to agree, it's a, the moment a government entity talking to you, they're engaging in a contract with you. The sad thing is, they are not telling you about the consequence arising from the corporate offer to contract. They are not telling you about that. So hence, you do not have full disclosure. And that make it fraudulent. It make it all a fraud. And it's easy to prove. It's right in front of our face. All you have to do, like what I'm doing, put it in writing. 
and let the world look at it. Yeah, man. So change is here, you know. but it will be subtle. Yeah, and we can choose to be lawful and we can choose not to be. We can choose to be legal. You have what is lawful, you have what is legal. In the legality, it's no different. They call it legal and illegal. I say both are the same thing. Legal is synonymous with illegal. Lawful is opposite from legal. That's my view. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. I won't say, hey, this is it. No, this, that's my view, my opinion. Yeah, man. What is lawful? You get me? It's different from what is legal. And what is legal is not necessarily lawful. That's a fact. So we choose not to conform to being a slave. We choose not to conform to this colonization. Yeah, man. We choose not to delegate none of our authority to no political body politic, specifically here on the island of Jamaica, where the corruption is just too great. If you have 1,000 people in a government, probably three proper honorable and good moral ethics, probably three, they might have to fight hard to find that truth. And that is a problem. We need to, yeah, we need to, you know, do a little bit better because we can. But I don't think we can depend on the so-called people and most of them in authority because they are filthy. Most of them are filthy. And they are filthy to them poor. How can you be a blink in a turn to the Prime Minister? And in a bed with a man where a top man from foreign and the man trusting on you and for whatever reason, whatever happened. They destroy the man things. You know what I mean? You hold on upon the man money and you nobody want to give him it back. Allegedly, allegedly, and then you are Prime Minister, liar. And we, if you accept all of them things, we have a problem with these things. But again, it's a true phone of business. Not a phone of business. This is why I'm here telling us to leave my business alone. Return my automobile. It's a little pro box me have. I have a big expensive car. And three police just decide say on the orders of them boss and on the orders of their bosses because it's a big free meal for me to keep on me. You get me? It's a big free mason meeting kept. When one of the members from out of that meeting contact someone that I'm familiar with and that person contact me and said this is what has been said. Or we have a case, Jamaica government against a sovereign man. You know, on a big Freemason meeting. So this is a plan. Because I remember when police have pulled me over and I showed them, said, this is my lawful capacity. I'm a lawful stand. And you'd have some Irish police. Because I tell them I meet some police when I have to rate them on them. Man, them bright. Yeah, man. Man, them say I embarrass them, you know. And may I embarrass the government of Jamaica. And I literally tell them, say, boy, I'm not do that intentionally. Truly, I can't do that intentionally. And my style, if you embarrass people, rather I hold on my head and walk away before me if you are ready. But when you are going to embarrass me, I have a mouth. So I'm going to, you know, probably secure my existence. So I'm not embarrass the government of Jamaica. Intentionally. That's what I tell them. If me as a man apply myself and I read at a level where most of you guys not really reach yet, then you can't really, you know, persecute me for that. And I'll know me not talk about quantum grammar in the island here of Zamaica, where you call me. I'm not, me not, me not introduce a quantum grammar around here. I mean, no, no, I can't have 
but later when we introduce it, we're not gonna say, yeah man, we have we have we have our yard people and we have them thing you talk. We're not gonna salute me. Uh, we are come with our own, you know say, twist to it. Get me? Uh, once it's a language we're mathematically certified then. You can't go around it. And now I'm gonna bring that to the forefront. What I do, I deal with it in our fiction language, in our fiction world. That's something that we do know. Uh, for me, take it to the next level. My people now go see this and now go get it. So when I deal with it upon this level, in our know, fiction world, on a fiction table, then my little people will get caught and trapped in this fiction reality. In this fiction, you know what I mean? Forgive me when I say fiction reality. It can't be a fiction and a reality, but you totally comprehend what I'm saying. They create this illusion and have the illusion like, yes, it is real. And the people that were trapped within that matrix can't find them way out. You know what I mean? Now here I am, I say, hey, I am that light, whether you want to see it or not. You know what I mean? And I am probably taking what you would call an unconventional path. Because I'm not follow my blue print. I've created what is known as public record precedents. And I have certified copy with pass a whole bunch of money. But these document, which is my deed, my Personal property is mine. And these documents stand as law and will pull up in any port on the earth. Get me? Uh, I, as man, have done that. So you, traffic pool clerk, listen. We don't mind I got through the process, but if you were just a little bit more respectable, would not to really show you up. You know what I mean? And would not to expose the fraud within your system. And that's what's going to happen. And you allow it to happen. Because you are doing your thing one way. And I totally ignore what I'm doing. My way. Because you have a court and I have a court. Your document is your court. My document is my court. It's not the building. I need you, RN, CM. You are the fact finder to look at his evidence and look at my evidence. I'm not content that the police stop me because my automobile do not have a Jamaica license plate. It do not have a Jamaica registration sticker. It do not have none of those things. And when they say, are you insured? I'm always insured. I have a bond. Plus, I have a national insurance that insure the entity. The Linton O'Neill Dallas, that entity, that's what is insured. And you can only interface with that entity. You cannot talk to me, the man. And you can't place me as an adhesive part of that entity. Watch me now. It's my entity. It's my personality. It's my persona. It's mine and I claim that you will not have no access to it. You understand? And then the court take care of me in a, this is a contract one have to go work with. A fee schedule. Yeah, man. Any agent, any man who want the business with I, a fee schedule is there. They want to come create a virus and say, hey, you have to get vaccinated. We have a fee schedule to fix that. Anything where you come with, look at my fee schedule. I know you're going over it now. Check it out. And as we go along, we will improve it, guys, on the weekend of that. So, to the society, our Indian nation in America, this is who we are. This is who we are. And for my people, that's on the St. Thomas, Virgin Island. Where the US have a lot, like all them have Puerto Rico, luck. 
Now, man, declare yourself a work, man, and let them know you're in America. You understand? And any lieutenant governor will feel like him have authority over you. Put him name for your PC schedule and make you start build them, man. They're too audacious. The moment any government agent I tell you, yourself to come be a part of them thing, when you demonstrate that you don't have no interest, they are coerce you and they are induce you by fraud. You get me? And they cannot escape fraud. Because one, they might tell you, like when the police officer, even the judge was audacious enough. I tried to tell me, say, boy, I'm forget my vehicle. Or I can't tow it. I can't tow my vehicle. Remember, I know them take for my vehicle. And then them take it from the police station. They take it from Kinsopen, right out of Marcus Gavin Drive. And then carry it to Elliston Road. When I go to Elliston Road, I saw my vehicle there. That uh, was a Sunday now or the Monday. I go to Elliston Road and I saw the vehicle. And then the move my vehicle car down at two. What? Pound, in pound. See? And when I do my paperwork and I deal with them court system, them take back my vehicle from the pound and bring it to the Elliston Road police station. When I look at the vehicle, I discover that there is no decal. My decal, where you call plates, with my writing, I don't see that. So obviously, they vandalize my vehicle, they vandalize my automobile, they vandalize my car. So waiting, maybe I can't accept that vehicle now. With Mark, I'm going to better fix up my thing. And I don't like me a bad man. And when I see me, I do my thing this way. Listen, at the whole world, I go look at you. I laugh at you. You understand? Because I don't pay attention to the laws that's there. I do arrogant with a public policy. You understand? And I'm always business friendly. Always I say, yo, I put the step it to the side. Now here I am, I demonstrate that I have a right to be free and I am free. And a Chinese man now, no. so called. Japanese man, no, no. so called. African man, no, no. so called. Hindu man. Disguising himself, calling himself Indian. No, no, no. No, I'm not authority over me as man. Not one of them. Yeah, on the might big and bad and strong. Yeah, on the money might tall or even long. You get me? On the might have a standing army, but this is what I'm saying. I'm not consent. And if you don't want contract with the House of Dallas, with Linton and Eagle Dallas, with our Indian nation or any of its members, we have a fee schedule. And we are business friendly. We have absolutely no problem doing business. Yeah, man. The people are afraid. And it is understandable. Because you have persecuted us so much and put me in a state where we're totally afraid. And when we have the little young warrior, then choose to go out there and rebel them and do it the wrong way. And that is a problem, but we soon correct that. Soon correct that car with correct knowledge, you know what I mean? Comes correct actions. So, step by step, my people, my awak people, step by step, we now have no voice, we now have no speaker. I not necessarily want to be the one to be out here for a fair chant like this. I have a body, have a different story. But nobody now talk this story. Where did the awak go? The foreigners came here and said, hey, we kill them off. So how could you write in your narrative that they all died off? Unless you thought they killed us off. It's impossible. That's impossible. They are not going to function without our people. You know? Impossible. You wipe out our people and the earth is cease. And my people have figured out that yet.
Now we're at a point where we can, as I'm doing right now, narrate our own little story and place it out there in the public where it will be there on into perpetuity. So if them cut down YouTube, the message is still out there. That's the beauty. That's why I encourage people to say, write your story, man, and put it out there on the public record. And if they must say, yeah, you can't put it on my court here or my court there, no, man. Put it on Google. Put it on YouTube. Put it on Facebook. Put it on all of these platforms you want to know. Publicizing the knowledge. Declare yourself free. Declare yourself free. And then you stand on that. That's it. Live that way and die that way. Uh, this is what free people do. When they say a sovereign, that means you're free. You can't sovereign and subject to nobody. That's why you cannot be a sovereign citizen. If me is a world citizen, then I'm a citizen of the world. You get me? So where the world I deal with me, I kind of conform myself to that world thing. That. And nothing wrong with it. Because where the world I deal with, the world I say peace and love. Really? The earth, I cry for peace and love. It's just a corporation that have no interest in that. But I am no citizen of Jamaica. I am no citizen of no corporation. I am a member of the Awak Indian nation in America. That is my society. And we are lawful and correct here. And we coexist with every other society lawfully. Not necessarily legally, but we are legal. You get me? Uh, here we make we legal in our authority. So the moment we have our house seal, uh, that give we the legality to enter in a legal system as a notary. Common law, notary. You are your own notary. There's so much thing I want to talk. You get me? I rather people take it step by step and learn. Uh, for just a show information out there like that, it's still not really do it. But I still have to publish the little knowledge that we have. You get me? Just the little knowledge that we have. The little comprehension that we are gained. The little clarity that we are attained. So it's not about embarrassing anyone or any organization or even any corporation. It's about holding you accountable and asking you as a corporation that only exists on paper. Where do you get your authority? Isn't it from the people? And if the people say enough for you, then what are you doing? Stand down. Stand down. It's as simple as that. Or face financial ruin. But that's the only way we can affect you guys. Your little bond, that's one thing. You get me? But when you get a bill where you can never satisfy, that's something totally different. That's when you have to put up your email lawn more. You might have to put your lawn more up because we'll claim that lawn more. You know what I mean? If you have claim for your property and you have public records, say, hey, this is your property down to the very grass we grow there, we will claim that. Step by step, we are not here to bring no harm to absolutely no one. Harm no one, but let no one harm you. We're not going to sit with our hands in our pocket and have these foreigners. But even when the foreigners employ our people, you people become foreigners to us in all your capacities. Yeah, man, and that's a fact. And as employees of that foreign corporation, you are limited in your authority. You are restricted in your authority. Don't think you are part of large to do anything where you want. Oh, me have a free pass. I'm immune. No. Not in that corporate capacity. You shall pay. You shall lose that work where you... Well, them always take care of themselves in a way. So when you jam them up the right way, them cannibalize, you know, each other. Yeah, man. First thing them are going to say then, you know, should I know, say, you know, forgot that route. Why you never adapt them are going to do? 
So you will look a court clerk. Look how them go. Well, put it this way, but everyone send an arm from to you in terms of you even lose your work, you even if you forgot to judge later, I hope to get your promotion. All me I say is this. Leave me alone and come out of my business or pay me for my time because I take a year out of my time. So I forgot to hire an accountant to look for my fee schedule now and do that man. Because it's too much numbers to me. You get me? And when I hear the numbers and know say boy, you know, are you waiting a goal? It shall impress you. At first you might laugh at it. At first, yeah. Because you know it. So you gotta laugh at it. But when your grandchildren are feel a pain, yeah, that's when you're gonna know. You want to do business with the Awak Indian Nation, that specific society and its members. We are business friendly. We accept your offer to contract under full immunity without records. Here is our fee schedule. We have no problem doing business. Not at all. So my 20 March 24th court date, I gotta keep playing that game. But because me have to walk this walk, so I can see where the common people got through. Me not mind, me just got through it. So on the March 24th, I know you're going to have a beautiful check for me. Because before we can commence and do anything going forward. You have to, you have to satisfy the fee schedule. Yeah, man, and everybody were associated with that case number. You know what I mean? Shall be a liable, but the liability is really on the court clerk. Because it is incumbent on the court clerk to ascertain correct information. You know what I mean? Before you bring the charges forward. And when you bring these kind of malicious charges, malicious persecution, then those charges shall be reversed on you via subrogation. Because I have a right of subrogation. Simple. And when you place my own bond on your court, you get me? Messing around thinking I'm totally unaware. This is where you're going to get caught. As I say, you have a copy of my birth certificate form and I share Document showing you say, hey, watch what you're doing with that thing. Uh, me control that. I can tell you that. Me have document where I prove that. You can't prove, you can't show no documents of me or your slave clown. Are you insane? You can't, yo. When I make me embarrass the government of Jamaica, and then when I make foreign police come in, come embarrass on some more. Uh, my document have an adhesive stamp for carrying in a UPU jurisdiction. You hear me I'm telling all these things and I'm doing this because you don't know. But from last January, I share information with you and I still I mess around. So right now, I have a place on myself in a bind. Uh, this is how we deal with strong government. We bind the government. You understand? And then your boss, where you get authority from, I gotta become embarrassed. Because the truth is always supreme. You can't get around the truth. And if I am sovereign in my capacity, you get me? That means you have absolutely no authority. None. And any court, any superior court where you go to, that's what the outcome shall be. Any superior court. Yeah, man. Uh, I have a document called the Superior Court of Record. Yeah, man. I have a certified copy from the public record which make that document law. Whenever I get all of these, said because some on a Federal Reserve note, I go place that document, that specific document, in the Gazette. All oh, like 11 pages of that document. I know it might cost a ton of money. But that won't break your heart. You understand? So we're not doing it your way. Uh, your way and uh, my way, it's not our way. We have our own way of doing things. 
We have our own society with our own laws. And our law is this. Simple. Do no harm. Simple as that. That we're not thief, we're not kill, we're not do none of these things. Mm. Yeah, man. We are law keeper. Man. Yeah, man. And we're not like lawbreaker. Simple. Anyway, give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. No, yo ho. And yo, no, yo, ho, and yo, no, yo, ho, and yo. Give thanks and praise.